For this video, I'm going to take a look at the Owls Wildlife Sanctuary. Buckle your safety belts, because I think things are about to get wild. Get it? Yeah. morning, the weather was amazing, so I decided to drive down to Ocala, Florida to visit the Owls Wildlife Sanctuary. Now for this channel I typically visit tourist attractions. This doesn't qualify as a tourist attraction. Not exactly anyways. This is actually the location of a nonprofit that uh, cares for rescue animals. Now if you try to drive out there right now, you'll find a locked gate. This place isn't open for the general public. However, if you go to their website, call ahead and schedule a tour, then you actually can see their amazing facility. So the Owl Sanctuary has a lot of different animals. They've got tortoises, ducks, geese, a talking crow, and a lot of different uh, tropical birds. There are 33 different owls from five different species here. That's where they get the name. All the animals that live here full time are victims of animal cruelty and abuse. So, how did 33 owls end up here? Well, that's a long story. As you already probably know, in this country, it's illegal for private individuals to keep a native owl as a pet. They only may be possessed by trained, licensed individuals while being rehabilitated, or as foster parents in a rehab facility such as this one, or as part of a breeding program for educational purposes. All of these owls were either illegal pets or injured in the wild. If you have the time, I would definitely recommend you schedule a tour of the Ocala Wildlife Sanctuary. The staff here is amazing. They really do care for the animals well. Donations are extremely helpful to them. Uh, they do rely on them to function. And even if you don't have money to donate, they could really use your assistance and are always looking for volunteers. So you could at least donate some time. If you are interested in helping them out, please visit their website for more information. You can also find them on Facebook by looking up Giving a Hoot. So what's my bottom line for the Ocala Wildlife Sanctuary? Well, Ocala really doesn't have a zoo. This is probably the closest thing that we've got to one. It is truly an amazing experience to be able to see all these exotic animals in one place, especially when they're this well cared for. I highly recommend you checking out the Owl Sanctuary, and if you could make a donation, that would be wonderful. Thanks for watching this episode of The Adventure Shmup. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See everyone next week.